With the 2032 Summer Olympics in its sights, the state government is putting up a billion dollars to keep rail improvements on track. But to shave a few minutes off the Brisbane to Gold Coast commute, the federal government needs to jump on board too. When elections aren't far down the line, fast rail proposals have been laid down for years. So far, they've all been derailed. While we're yet to see the trigger pulled on a bullet train, instead of fast, the state government today committed to a slightly faster rail commute from Brisbane to the Gold Coast. We believe this project will ease congestion and could shave up to four minutes off the average train trip between Brisbane and the Gold Coast. But preparing for an Olympic Games is a marathon, not a sprint. Gold, though, isn't cheap. The state wants the federal government to match them dollar for dollar. Today's $1.1 billion commitment from the Palaszczuk Labor government is half of what's needed for this important project for population growth and also for the Games. The line between Currabi and Bean Lee will be duplicated, five level crossings removed and nine stations upgraded. But the Gold Coast Mayor says the Olympic plan requires more than just upgrades. I would welcome more that uh, we take it from Varsity all the way to the airport. Today's announcement was earmarked in September when community consultation opened. The opposition says the Premier is hitching her wagon to something already on track. Didn't we hear this announcement only last year? Yes, we did. Here we go again with another rail announcement that's been brought back on spin cycle. It's not yet clear when the wheels will finally be in motion. Chris Campy for 10 News First.